All right, so I want to do a quick little side tutorial here um, to address an issue. Uh, somebody that I have communicated with um, quite frequently over uh, helping them with, with some various issues that they've encountered um, with building their app. Uh, they asked the question of how to uh, direct from one page to another page and uh, open up a specific um, tab in a tab bar uh, component or widget. Um, and initially, I honestly had forgotten that Flutterflow had introduced the capability of, of defining the index of a tab. And this also applies to page view component as well, but defining the index of those uh, dynamically. Um, because quite frankly, up to this point, I haven't really had a need for that specific uh, functionality. And so I hadn't explored it much, but when they raised the question, it triggered my memory that Flutterflow had introduced that. I will say that Flutterflow uh, is pretty impressive. They're, the team behind Flutterflow is extremely impressive in the fact that they, they will introduce updates uh, to the system. Uh, seems like they'll do daily updates, kind of small things, and then uh, large updates almost seem like they're coming weekly. And so they're introducing new features so quickly that it's kind of tough to keep up with everything that they've, they've brought forward. Um, but in any case, so let's just do this real quick to show how you can uh, navigate from one page to another and open up a specific tab or page view uh, within a component uh, based off of a variable um, that you assign to it. So, um, I just created a test app here to do this. I've got a home page. Uh, so I'm just going to have two pages and in home page, I'm just going to rename this as tab page just for reference purposes. <clears throat> and in this page, I am going to drop the tab bar, uh, widget in here. So it got, I'll rename these. <clears throat> um, we're going to be referencing the index number uh, of the tabs, and um, I believe that Flutterflow has it, and, and I'm sure actually this is a, this is a Flutter, uh, this is a Flutter thing. It's not a Flutter flow thing. It's the actual code, but the index will always start at zero. It doesn't start at one. Um, so I'm going to name this index zero. We'll do index one and we'll do index two. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's really no other, nothing else I wanna throw in here because I'm just referencing that. All right, so on this, on this page here, and it looks like I already had it put in there, but I'll start from the beginning here. So on this index tab page, I want to set a page parameter up here. I'm going to add the parameter and I'm going to do it as um, tab index reference. And I'm going to set that as an integer. So we'll leave that as that. And then I'm going to tap here on my tab bar. And I'm going to go down here to the initial index under general properties and I'm going to set it from a variable. And that variable, I'm going to reference that page level parameter, which I just set up. Um, and then as the, the default uh, variable, uh, no, that's not where I want to set that, sorry. Um, so again, I'm, I'm going to set that as the, ta the tab index reference and leave that alone. I actually, I want to go back up here to my page parameter and I want to set the default parameter variable as zero. So the, the initial index tab. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over here and um, I need to create a new page. Oh, there we go. Come on now, there we go. Uh, and I just need something with some buttons in here. I don't, um, you know what, we'll just do it this way. All right, I've already got a column, so I'm just going to put a button. I'm going to 
gonna center that and drop it down. And then we'll relabel these to correspond. So we'll do index one or uh, index zero. index one and index two. And then I'm gonna add an action for each of those and we're gonna do a navigate to and we're gonna navigate to the tab page and we're gonna pass the parameter to the tab index reference and we'll pass this one as zero. Then for this one, we'll pass it as one And then for this one, we'll pass it as two. Okay, so we should be passing everything, okay. So we're good to go there. So I need to go down here and I need to change my initial page to my uh, homepage should be right. Let me see, is this what, yeah. So I wanted to load this page initially. And then when I load this page and I tap on each of these, then it should take me to the correct, it should open the correct tab. Now I do want to, I'm just going to set, uh, yeah, you can't do that. Um, I just need a button here. And it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make it white. I'm going to leave it as a plus button. It's not very relevant. And then I'm just going to do a navigate back. All right, so now we can run that as a test. And we'll let that load up real quick. Okay, so now it's done loading. So when I tap on each of these, it should open the respective uh, tab view. So uh, let's do zero. So that brought us into index zero, as you can see. So let's go back. Index one. Index one and index two, index two. So you can see that that's how you pass a index parameter to another page. Very simple. Obviously you can make it a lot more complex and design it so it looks good, but that is uh, just the basic setup to passing an index parameter to another page. Hopefully that helps.